Hello everyone and welcome to another Poppy and Witchy show. As you can see, Poppy has decided to be a witch for Halloween. She got all of her costume from Build-A-Bear last year. Her little Halloween shirt, her little wig, that is attached to her little candy corn witch's hat. So if you're ever wanting to dress up your Niffler, Build-A-Bear, all their outfits usually fit on our Nifflers. I also know that a medium-sized dog dress also fits. Funny story, we bought some for our dog and it turns out she's a little bit too thick for medium and had to go with a large. So rather than returning, I found that they actually fit on Poppy and looked really cute. You may have seen her little lemon dress before and that is actually a dog dress. So Poppy was actually with us recently when we went to a um, sunflower farm where uh, sunflower farm punk pumpkin patch and they also had some gemstone mining. So Poppy actually has a whole cauldron full of gemstones now. You can see right here on the top that she has this gorgeous piece of amethyst. And then there's a piece of quartz or possible smoky quartz. It's not quite cleaned up yet, but there we are. Not only did our mining kit come with gemstones it came with arrowheads it came with fossils you have this cute little snail uh, fossil there this is perhaps one of our favorites and it is the uh it's a seashell on both sides one side's damaged but that's okay we had some pretty interesting things there's like fool's gold and there's some shiny bits too there we go, focus in. Not really picking up the shiny too much, but there's some shiny in there, which of course you know that Poppy really adores all of her shinies. So she started collecting them here in her cauldron. It's a really gorgeous piece here. It's really shiny. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It came with some pieces of jade and there was some agate. Like I said, there's some arrowheads, there's coral, there's fossilized uh, shells in there and there's also petrified wood. So Poppy was quite happy with all of her finds. We did have a little mishap and a whole handful actually ended up going down the chute and we could not recover them. So that was a little sad, but we still came out with a whole cauldron full. In fact, Poppy wanted me to show off the cauldron Look at the cute little sparkly frogs. We got the cauldron either from Michael's or from Joanne's fabric store. I believe it was Joanne's because they had the more decorative cauldrons. Today for the episode, we have a few surprise blinds to look at. We have a couple of our Harry Potter mashems. We've opened a few of these before, only this is a different set. So we have two of those. We have two of our How to Train a Dragon. We have a Series 3 mini brands. We've got a Surprisingles. We have a, uh, I'm going to save this one for next time because we have a lot to open. We have a Stitch Head. I actually have two of these, but one of these is going to Miss Ellie, my pen pal in England. We have these Baby Born Surprise Pets. Saw those recently on TikTok and they are adorable. And then of course we've got our Minecraft figures. We've got three boxes to open today. Okay, so let's go ahead and open our stitch. Be careful with our scissors. And there is our stitch figure. Look at him, he's so shiny. Now, it doesn't come with anything telling us, or does it? 
Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's the back. And uh, we got the rare. <laughs> we got the rare. So let's see which other ones we could have gotten. So we have a hero stitch, but he's all shiny. So he is our rare one. Amazing to get that on our first try. So Ellie, when you see this and you get yours, I'm sorry if you don't get the rare. It just happened. So let's show him off again because he is completely adorable. He is ready to save the day with his helmet over his ears and his little red cape. Let's go ahead and open up our Series 24 Minecraft. Oops, there we go. So this one has some view on the top here about what you can get. Let's go ahead and open the ups. Okay, I have them out of the box now, so that way we can open them. Here's our first little guy. Cut enough of the edge off there. Let's try that again. Here's our next one. Oh, this one feels like it might be a spawner because it's kind of big and squarish. Oh, it's not a spawner, but it is. Our slime cube. Look at him. So we have a couple of our little gray villager looking dudes that are in their little costumes. And we have a slime cube. That slime cube is just really cute. He's not even a perfect square all the way around. So he's caught in mid movement. Here we are with our baby born surprise pets. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Comes with a little bathtub because they are color changing. I like how the top looks like a bubble bath. Here we go. Go ahead and take it out now. She's all wrapped up, still hidden inside the little towel. Let's go ahead and open her. Aww. She's a sleeping little horse. She's got some sparkly hair, a little tiny pacifier. She is adorable. So one of those first things that came out was the whole packet of what all you can get. So let's go ahead and open that now because the back of it is a birth certificate, birth certificate you can fill out. You can also make up names, there's a little maze. There's birthdays and everything else. So let's see who we got. So we have the little monkey costume there. That one is the tropical monkey. And then the character we got, let's see, is Pony, right there, and she turns into a rainbow pony. So there's all the ones that we can get, and there's the cute little towels they come with. Okay, so next up we're going to get into our surprise moles. Here we go. jellyfish look at his little tentacles and they're sparkly another sparkly friend for poppy <laughs> so let's see who all we could get and what this one's name might be if they have any names oh apparently there's a lot we could have gotten
and on the back. <laughs> so many we could have gotten. So here's the one we got. His name is Jackson. Alright, let's get into our mini brands, then the dragons, and then our Harry Potter smash -ums. Okay, here we go with our first wedge. Oops. Didn't quite peel off right, but that's okay. We got the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Our next one is the Stove Top Turkey Stuffing. Okay, this one is totally cool. It is the Icy Snow Cone, and it's actually printed on both sides. If I get any more of those, I will definitely make those into earrings for myself. And our next one is the Kraft Singles Cheese. Our last one for the mini brands is our all-time favorite Lunchables. So next, we're going to go ahead and get into our green How to Train a Dragon. Okay, so here he is. We're going to open him. Look at him. Looks like a little baby toothless. In fact, I think that's who it is. Still has the perfect tail. It's so cute. Next, we're going to do our pinkish purple and magenta looking How to Train a Dragon. Aww. He's so cute. Look at that big smile. Sleepy eyes. His tiny little wings. And his tail is so chubby. He's cute. Alright, next up we're going to open our two Harry Potter mashups and that'll be it for today. Okay, there we go. It's our first one. I just saw the front, and you'll recognize it as Little Monster Book of Monsters. There's our little monster face. And they're the squishy ones, because, you know, they're the Mashems. He is so cute. So let me just pull that up again, seeing the ones that you can get. We have Haggard Harry. Looks like Umbridge and Ron, Monster Book of Monsters, and The Unknown. So now we have one more to open. Here we go. Brown hair, it must be Harry Potter. And we're right. Only, unlike all the other Harry Potters I have, not your typical Harry Potter. This is his Yule Ball outfit here. You can tell from the little little white collar. So that is all we have for today. Since it is Halloween, Poppy and I wish you a happy Halloween. Have a good day everyone.